This dog was chained up for three weeks because it viciously attacked the neighbor's dog. And today's the first day that I've seen him free. I guess he broke the chain or something. He's like free as a soldier. He's no longer a prisoner. Red Rover. Come here, Red Rover. Come here, boy. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Going places that I've never been. Stupid dog. Yeah. Out here in the desert. The green desert, once again. Poor dog. Being chained up for three weeks to a tree. I guess that's what he thinks about that. But it's like, now he's free, and he's like, oh. He knows that he's free, you know. He knows that he's free. Because he was chained up to a tree for three weeks. I mean, come on. You cut the chain, uh, he is conscious that he is no longer on the fucking chain. And he's like, fuck yeah. But, I don't know. I think people give themselves too much credit, you know. People give themselves far too much credit. We're the only conscious beings and we build buildings and roar. We're the only conscious beings. We're the first ever beings. And it's, what? I mean, it's cool, I guess. You know, it has its perks. You know, being human, you know, it has its perks. But I think the human race gives themselves entire too much, entirely too much credit. When sure we build all these things and invent all these things only to yell at each other years from now and turn it into rubble with a bombs and h bombs you know it's like yeah we're the yeah we're the most uh we're the most intelligent race all right build all these pretty buildings with shiny colors and then we bomb them because your buildings look better than my buildings or whatever you know or you owe us X amounts of money. X amounts of money. X amounts of money. <clears throat> In the year 2012, I'm convinced that debt is just a joke. It's not, it's, it's like, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. We're trillions and zillions of dollars in debt. Like, when you reach like, quadrillion like amounts of money in debt like it it, <laughs> it just turns into such a such a troll statement you know everyone just, just kind of rolls their eyes at it and they're like yeah we'll take care of that eventually you know it's just, just a big joke it's just a big joke You owe us X amounts of money. Money. Currency. You owe us X amounts of currency. You owe us X amounts of currency. You know what? Fine. You're not going to listen. We're going to send your children to war. Okay? We've mastered the art of advertising and how to reach 18-year-old minds through the media, through Twitter, and through other forms of media, okay? We've mastered the art of how to package a 30 second commercial and two times out of ten they'll fall for it, okay? 
That's that's not the point though. That's not the point though. You owe us X amounts of money and our children are going to go to war, okay? It'd be badass if the people behind the desk, the people signing the papers, if they were, if they felt so strong about their points, their answers, or their their laws, whatever, or and when they come into disagreement with one another, it should be those two guys that are like in the squared circle, like punching each other in the mouth, and whoever wins, like. Obviously that guy, that guy's not fucking around, you know. Instead the guy behind the desk just... Sends, sends his unnamed children to war. And pretends as if he's interested. Pretending as if he's, as if when he's signing that, when he's signing his name on that paper, sending his children to war. As, as if he's apathetic, you know, pretending to care, pretending... Just pretending, just pretending. Why can't those guys signing the papers, why don't they get, why don't they, you know, have a little triple threat match or a fatal four way and just beat the living fuck out of each other? I mean, that's not gonna happen. It's more complicated than that, dude. It's more complicated than that, dude. You have like all these white motherfuckers and like brown motherfuckers and like black motherfuckers and it turns all weird because People are still subconsciously racist, even though they say they're not. And sexism will always exist. Get over it. As long as you don't poison and bathe in it, sexism is alright. I mean, hey, I just got laid, yeah. But yeah, on a serious note, yeah. Sexism, uh, yeah, it'll always exist. And, and there's a place for it, but it's... There's levels of sexism, alright? There's levels of sexism, you know? There's level 1, and then there's level 10, you know? It, it's, it's just, I mean, just seriously. It'll always subconsciously exist, you know. You're in a crowd of people, you know, a guy punches another guy in the mouth, people watch and go, ooh, fuck yeah. You're in a crowd of people, a guy punches a girl in the mouth, you'll have ten guys pounding on that one guy for being a fucking faggot, pussy, dickless, cuntless piece of shit. It's just the way it is. Uh... That's all sexism, dude. That's different. No, 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 no. It is sexism. It's the only difference is it was a guy, guy punching a guy, and now it's a guy, girl punching a guy or girl or whatever, whatever. It's just <sighs> the people are funny. Hell, I'm funny. I'm funny. All right, this is all funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's like real windy and it's probably gonna sound all shitty. I can hear the wind, I can feel the wind upon my face, upon my face. Can you see the stars? Can't you see the stars? They never win the infinite race. They be shooting and shooting and spoofing all over, but the story is never over.
over. Tell me about the 50 million hogs again, Tell You want to kill 50 million people? Oh, come on. You see what I'm saying? All you're doing is you're looking for blood. You're looking for fear. You're looking to sell death. You're looking to sell... Uh, uh, but you seem to have a peculiar fascination no, with no, death. No, no, no. Here's, here's, death here, seems to be here, following let, you. Where let let you me go? give you this line. I'll give you the line of that. I'll give you the line in that thought right now. Since... The Europeans came to this country. They have cut all the trees. They have butchered all the lakes. They've destroyed all the creeks. Everything's turned into cement. Uh, they're tearing all the rainforest down. There'll be no wildlife left on the planet Earth. So if I'm standing out in the middle of the desert and I get out of jail and I see the desert's dying, the bees are dying, the birds can't live, the trees are dying, the smog is killing everything, and I say, wow, where's my life on this planet? Can I survive on this planet Earth? That's what I'm working for. I'm working for my survival on that piece of dirt. It took me 20 years to get out of these guys in penitentiaries to get down on that ground. Now that I'm on that ground, I'm thinking about surviving on that ground. I don't care about your society. The public's a bunch of assholes. What do you